What's up, Summoners? I'm Colby Cheese, and in honor of me returning to League of Legends, today I'm bringing you an all new champion guide featuring Zyra. Prepare yourselves for the most powerful, ultimate, amazing, killtastic Zyra guide that you have ever witnessed. Wield the power of Mother Nature at your fingertips to crush your foes. Do more damage to the enemy team than any flimsy AD carry could ever dream of. Double the damage of anyone on either team, regardless of winning or losing. Now prepare yourself for Plants Power Zyra. Leandri's percentage HP damage on each plant's attack and spell. Spirit of the Elder Lizard. You get true damage dots on each plant and spell. And then boots because boots. Riley's for ultimate kiting and slowing. Slow every enemy with every attack. Outperform your supports and utility and roast your enemies alive in a fiery plant awesomeness. And then finally, take your power to the max with Banner of Command. Once this is built, you will have 15% additional damage on all of your plants as well as giving your minions extra damage. On top of that, Super Minion. Once this is done, you shall proclaim, I am the Master Commander. And finally, to finish your build off completely, pick up a Zanyas for that ultimate tankiness and damage absorption. Let's get the basics out of the way. Rise of the Thorns, Zyra's passive is a great finishing move after dying. The main trick to this one is to wait just a little bit after dying because if you click right after death then you're going to have a huge delay on firing so be patient. Deadly Bloom, it's a low cooldown farming and harass tool. This is what you're going to max first and I suggest that all spells with maybe the exception of your ultimate to be put on smart gas. Bloom is best used in conjunction with rampant growth to create additional damage and zone that causes the enemy to want to just move away from you rather than attempting to trade hits. Rampant growth is what allows this build plant power to really work. It can store two seeds at a time so when you're at two seeds I suggest putting one down either in a bush or just as somewhat of a zoning thing so that if enemies come close you can now put up to three if the cooldown permits it and what I like to do is actually cast rampant growth right after a deadly bloom or after a grasping roots and that way they don't really see it coming and it allows the plant to get off a couple of extra hits grasping roots is an extremely long range snare it does have a very thin catch size so it will take some time to get used to it and get the hang of really catching people in it but it can be extremely deadly it creates uh, a melee version of your plants with a slow however it's not really recommended to create these since Riley's or even the red buff will apply your slow on the ranged plants it is good to use when running away or possibly when enemies are coming at you or even to farm some minions and that's the easiest way to really catch people and this seems to be the best way to catch them while you're laning. Now Stranglethorn is your ultimate. It can be super freaking awesome. This is really your bread and butter especially in team fights because for this build it's very important that you cast it after you've used your plants because it causes them to go into rage mode and attack super fast. Try to position it around your allies in team fights so that assassins are caught inside of it and it peels for your carry a little bit. Alright, couple more basics. We got masteries and runes. Not gonna spend a lot of time on explaining these, but the main goal is to have uh, 2109 on the masteries. This gives you enough mana regen and some ability power since your spells do cost a lot and you want to be able to provide as much uh, AP and magic pin as possible through your runes and I'm gonna have a little bit of magic resist and mana regen on the runes as well alright so now that the basics are out of the way let's talk strategy early game on Zyra you are not the master commander so you shall play like a shrub until you can grow into a mighty tree this doesn't mean that mother nature bows to the enemy no you shall simply outplay them with Deadly Bloom and Rampant Growth. 
Planty doing the damages. So, your goal here early game is to really just farm a lot, because proper farming shall re reap the rewards of a great garden. Early game is your winter, and once you pick up Leandri's and Elder Lizard, you'll really begin to feel the plant power. So try not to spend a lot of time spamming your grasping roots for your harass in laning phase. It is actually kind of hard to catch people in open areas, and it uses quite a lot of mana. It's best to harass with Deadly Bloom and Rampant Growth in the path of them going to farm. And if they're in a position where you think you can hit your Grasping Roots to get off that extra damage, go ahead and shoot that out. As long as you're not just spamming it wildly to try and catch them. Now, once you get your Elder Lizard, your auto attacks are actually going to become really deadly as well. So be sure to take advantage of that at all opportunities and just continue to auto attack. Zyra does have a quite a responsive auto attack and so that makes it really easy to use. So mid game, roaming is going to be important when you see the opportunity. However, you're not going to have your boots until a little bit later than usual. So this will come down to experience and just paying attention to the map. Zyra can have really great presence in fights but you need to be careful not to get caught on the way to the various lanes because of your lack of mobility and that can be a big problem early on especially before Riley's and boots are built up on your character so ultimately in mid game your goal here is still to continue to farm and push down your turret if you haven't already done so and you want to get the boots and Riley's picked up as soon as possible after your core setup once your Rileys is achieved, you can really do some ultimate kiting. Everything you do slows them down, and you can attack from extreme range. Try to throw down plants over walls just to stay safe, and right out of the range of enemies being able to hit you with their abilities. When you're fighting tough melee opponents, what you want to do is try and stay as close to your plants as possible, as those plants are going to be completely destroying them, and that's really your only chance against those strong, fast-killing assassins. Now once you start getting into late game and into team fights in general, I really like Zyra's late game and what I found is that it revolves mostly around Baron fights. You can create such a dangerous zone of influence that this is the best place to bait enemies into and cause them to lose against your team. So what you want to do is try to continually create fights in this area and eventually have enough good positioning from your team that should allow you to win out by forcing the enemies to fight inside of your plant's damage and your big AoE spells. Inside of team fights, you should stay way in the back and place down your plants near your allies and hit rampant growth as well as your deadly bloom to create those plants for the range plants. Always try and do the range plants. Also make sure that you're hitting your uh, grasping roots and then your stranglethorn combo right after those plants go up. So that way you can hold them in position, knock everybody up, and do as much damage as possible with those enraged plants from your ultimate. For late game, undying awesome time. Whip out the Zhonyas and go invulnerable while people jump on you because they're going to start to find you a huge threat. And your plants and your team should allow you to clean up. And what's going to happen is they're going to really have to commit big time in order to take you out because if you're playing correctly and positioning right you should be way behind your enemies or sorry your allies so really that's it you just need to learn a position behind your team build correctly put down the plants constantly and get good at hitting your binding in important situations your damage will destroy enemy teams and it's going to allow everyone to clean up very nicely Every time that you're able to get down your uh, rampant growth as well as your deadly bloom and that plant attacks someone, it's going to do quite a lot of damage because every little attack just picks away at their HP percentage wise and with a little bit of true damage. So some tips to keep in mind are that you want to try and fight in zones that force enemies to go through that plant area. Baron, like I was saying, try and go the dragon ramps, wraith chokes, tri bushes. All of those are great locations for team battles with a Zyra around. And if you're still unsure of positioning for your plants, just try and watch your team. And if they have assassins or bruisers jumping in the back on you or your AD carry, place those plants down preemptively in the back and start your queue as soon as they ghost, flash, or just simply jump in 
and that will automatically place them in the firing range. And then you can strangle thorn, grasping roots combo them to make your escape. So harnessing the power of Mother Nature is quite simple, but mastering it will take some practice. So don't expect to go like 20 and 0 your first game on her, in fact you'll probably die a lot regardless, but do your best to make them really pay for running all the way in the back to engage on you. And Zyra can be frustrating to learn, however, once you achieve maximum plant power, you'll feel like you've really had an extreme level of control over most situations. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Go out there now and kick some butt with some Zyra plant power action and I'll see you guys around for my next video. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, share this with your friends, let them know all about this and I'll see you around for the next one. I'm Kobe Cheese, peace out. Concert, concert, concert.